to my youtube channel once again um don't forget to subscribe if you like my content also click on the notification bell to be notified whenever i post a new video um also leave a comment in the comment section so that i know how um you um you took the lesson all right so we're going to be looking at the circle of 50 is a continuation on uh, the the application of the circle of fifth the last time we talked about how how we use that they apply that to sight reading so today we are going to look at how we use the circle of fifth to write songs and to formulate progressions all right now we'll go into it now i'm going to use my reference key which i've been using for most of my lessons and that's the key of c now number them one two three four five six seven eight is a repetition diatonically your one chord is a major chord two is a minor chord three is minor four is major five is major six is minor seven is half diminished then we go back to the one chord now we are going to get a progression by using a fifth but this time around we'll be counting backwards you can count forwards but let's Look at the most popular one in the next lesson. We'll count forward and see the less popular one. Now, this is our one chord. So, one, two, three, four, five. One goes to the four smoothly. And I will give us the reasons for this. But for now, let's focus on the progression. One, one, two, three, four, five. Now from your four, you can go one, two, three, four, five downwards. That's your seven. So we have Did we get that? Now from your seven we count four steps downwards. Five steps further. So we have four, seven. Three, three. Now from three, five steps downwards. Six. So, which is la? So we have one, four, seven, three, six. Now from the six, we count five steps downwards. Two. So from your your two is your minor chord is raised. So we have. Sorry, one, four, seven, three, six, two. Now from your two, let's count backwards. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That's your saw. Then from saw backwards, five steps. It takes us back to where we started from. So that's why it's called a circle. So if you go through it again you still come back to the same position where it started so let's go through it again you are gone from the kiss. sorry i was trying to apply it to this song let me just take um parts or chunks of that particular circle of fifth and add to this song. You are gone from beginning to the end. There's no place for you. Now, the song moves from one to four. Now, one to four is the basic thing. There's no um, chord in between. But from four to six, there are passing chords there because we know that from your four you move to seven from your seven to your three from your three to your six so we can say you are gone from beginning to the end this is your four we are going to the six now from your four there's no place for argument that's your seven three six similar from that same circle of fifth. I'll take it again. You are called from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. 
then you're going back to the four. You, you can go from one to four. You are God of fire. Let's introduce what we used in the last lesson. So you can use this in so many ways. For example, there is a popular progression in um, jazz, and it is derived from the circle of fifth, and it is the two five one. That is how it goes. So if I decide to start on the two and play the whole of the circle of fifth, you hear that jazzy sound. So that is the basic way to apply your circle of fifth using chords. Thanks for watching.